Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. I picked up a couple of watercolor sets from Amazon and I thought I would show you quickly what they look like and how they work. So let's start with this Woo Color watercolor paint set. It has 50 premium colors. It has a, I was trying to figure out how to get the wrapper off. When you open it up, it has a color card and looks like it has a paintbrush and a water brush. I don't know. I don't see a way to open it. Is it the kind that you squeeze? Aha! If you squeeze it, it can suck up the water. All right, so you can put water in it by squeezing it into that. It's a big brush. I don't know that I would use it because I have other brushes that I prefer. And then this brush, and get it out of the container. It's just a flat brush. So it looks like these are pretty simple colors. I'm going to spray it really fast. I just have a little spray bottle. Um, sometimes I recycle spray bottles. This one is actually a Tim uh, Holtz one. And I'm just going to spray over those to get it wet. And I'm going to grab one of my paintbrushes that I like using and dip it in some water. And I think what I'll do is just quickly kind of add color to the little color swatch here. That looks pretty good. I've got a, a couple of pieces of watercolor paper over here. So I think what I'll do is I will just fill in a little square to kind of clean out the brush of any pigment. Then I'll wipe it off and I have a dirty water and then I have a clean water. So then I'll just go to the next color and paint that in. They're not a bad paint set. Um, it seems like they got some pretty good color to them. See the colors there. I'm just going to go across and paint all of the blocks in and then I'll come back. Okay, so I just kind of quickly filled in a little palette that they provide, and I can say that the colors are pretty good. They're nice and pigmented, so depending on how much water you use for an inexpensive set that was around 20 bucks when I purchased it, I saw on Amazon that it goes on sale quite frequently, so you might be able to get it for less. It does have like a little water sponge so you can clean out your brush and it has three little wells here and then of course the card and then here it is on some of my watercolor paper that I had on hand and those are still wet but I think they turned out really nice. They got some good coverage. I think I got a little bit of green in the uh, white but it did show as white on the page so if you're a beginner or you want just a convenient set to carry around i think this is a good deal so i'm going to set this aside and let's look at the other set the other set that i have here is a metallic set and i was watching some tutorials and someone was sharing their metallic set and so i thought well what's out there so i found this one on amazon and again i believe it was under twenty dollars it looks like it comes with two water brushes and it again is the type that you squeeze to fill so those are handy if you want to have some portable brushes it comes in a metal tin looks like it has a mixing pal palette here as well as over here and what else comes with the user's manual 
and it comes with a couple of cards. Oh, this is kind of cool. So you can paint them on black if you so choose. And it looks like they're all individually wrapped with a little tape. So I think I will go ahead and remove those real fast. I was going to remove the labels and just throw them away. And then I got to looking at them and it looks like, it may not be perfect, but I can place them on the back side. So at least I would know what color they were, although I can't read that. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop these back in after I take the labels and put it on the back. And this little tray comes out. So if you have other colors you would rather have in there, you could also pop those in. So it's kind of a typical, um, I guess they call it a half pan tray. Okay, so I've got them all removed. And so here's a color control card. And again, I've got some water over here. So I'm just going to pick up the first one. Oh, I forgot to spray it. That's what I was going to do. I watched a couple of watercolor art artists. I'm trying to remember her name, Andrea. For some reason, I want to think her name is Andrea Nelson. If I remember, I'll put a link to her Instagram in my uh, description box down below. And she shows spraying the watercolor palette. And I was like, oh, so that's how you activate a watercolor palette. I didn't know that. I'm new to watercoloring. I've used watercolor pencils, but I haven't really used watercolor palettes all that much. So I'm kind of having fun with experimenting. And that was the reason I bought these sets so that they weren't a big investment. And if I really like them, then I'll invest in some better ones. All right, so I'm just gonna pick up some of, I guess this would be a white metallic and put that in a little box here. I even have a piece of black cardstock here, so I thought I would just kind of add a little color there and then clean my brush. Pick up the next color. You really see that shimmer on the black paper. Look at the shimmer in these. And it may be really hard to see on the camera, but I really like the shimmer that shows it shows differently on the white, but it's definitely there. And there's the shimmer on the black. So this will be a great fun little set to kind of add some metallic accents to things. Let me try something really fast. I'm gonna move my control cards out of the way. I've been making these little flowers, um, kind of having fun with them. So let's see, I'm going to pick I'm going to pick the, what is that, sky blue. And basically, I've just been, you know, I should probably zoom in so you can see that. So I make like five little dots of paint. And then I kind of clean off my brush and pick up some water and then come in and make little squiggly lines out to make petals. Kind of make a, like a pie wedge. I thought I would pick up a little bit of this metallic blue and see how it looks 
just dropping a little bit in there. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry it. You could use your hair dryer or you can let it air dry. I think that's dry enough. I'm going to grab a little bit of, let's use bright yellow. So I'm going to go to a little bit of bright yellow and just kind of make some little, a little dot here in the middle. And then clean off my brush, and I'm going to grab some of this metallic gold and drop that in there. And I'm not very good at making leaves, but I'll grab a green, let's see, light yellow green. That's what I'll use. And basically, I do the same thing, just kind of make a little dot or a dash. I don't know, this is what works for me. Some people we'll do something different and that green is not very dark once I start to water it down so I'm going to come back and add some of this metallic green in there So just a quick little flower using the two different palettes is kind of fun and I think I'm going to have a good time playing with these watercolor paints. I didn't get it completely dry but you definitely in person can see the shimmer especially in that blue because it's already dry and the green is still working on it but I think these will be fun little palettes to have and perfect for travel. I will be taking these with me when I go on vacation as a variety to play with and it's compact and I hope you enjoyed seeing just a quick showing of how this product kind of a review of it check the description box for links to this on my amazon yes i do get a commission so if you are planning to buy one i greatly appreciate your supporting me it doesn't cost you any extra if you have any questions please feel free to use that comment box down below come back and see my other videos and when i go live on mondays at 3 45 p.m central standard time all right everybody thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes y'all have an amazing day do something fun do something fabulous, do something creative, and do something kind. Y'all take care. Bye, everybody.